and shit. I hope you guys can hear me. The settings were a little off. And, uh... Yeah! The settings were off. And I hope you can hear me. Um, welcome back to the house of Insane Eddie. Uh... Haven't been uploading as much the past, like, week, two weeks. I guess last week you did get, like, two videos. Um, I just haven't done, like, a talk-along or a watch-along. Um, kind of getting ready for some things. And I'm kind of trying to, uh... Kind of trying to take a step back, seclude myself a little bit, and, and, uh... Make sure the preparation is going the way it has been. Uh, I want to keep trying to get the videos out, doing the watch-alongs and stuff, and that really doesn't set me back as far as what I want to get done. Uh, just the uh, just the big thing for me really is, like, there's a saying where you talk things into existence. Um, you know, if you speak it, it becomes true, and I, I believe that. I do for a lot of people um, but I have a tendency to sorry my nose it just but I have a tendency to talk things out of existence I don't I don't know sorry I'm dying I kind of just got done doing a run um, Yeah, I, I talk things out of existence. I, I don't know if I just get in my head too much or if I add so much pressure to the situation that it, it becomes overwhelming maybe. Or if I just got very shitty luck. Uh, I mean, things have been going really well. Try not to push too hard because I am still kind of afraid of hurting myself again because that was kind of the consistent thing that got me into the state of mind and physical state that I am in now. Well, not now because the mind has changed. The physical state has obviously not as much. <coughs> I do feel a lot better. The consistency in making the progress to change has been... Oh, God, it's, it's, it's been uplifting. It's been relieving. It, like, like, I feel lighter as far as, like, the stress levels and, and the worry of, like, what's going to be because I've kind of just been stuck in nothing um I had an idea of something that was going to come up and I had a deadline for it and then I got a call that pushed the deadline up and made it more of a reality like a confirmation instead of just an idea of what might have been so now I have less time than what I had imagined to get myself to a state to where I feel like I might be better than I was if I had gotten this call a few months ago. But also, I don't want to have like like since I've moved the deadline up I, I want to make sure that I'm putting that work in because I want to make sure that I'm as ready as I could be but also I don't want to push too hard because of the consistency of like I said hurting myself like I just that became that, that just became a thing every fucking time so we're what I'm doing now is I, I, I have switched things up because of the deadline um 
it's not. I see. I don't want to call it a deadline, even though I have been, because it's not a deadline. It's more like a starting line. But I also have to have things finished by the time I get to the start. Well, that's fucking stupid. I don't even know what that means. But it's real. That's all I know. It's real. It's fucking real. But, <clears throat> and also a lot of the reason I needed to take this step back is because I have something way sooner than the deadline that is coming up, and it's the most exciting, relieving part of everything that has happened to me in the last couple of, in the last while. Like I said, hold on, I'm fucking dying. Oh! <laughs> Whew. I, I love working out. I really do. Um, I think the last time when I did drop all the weight and was v very, very, very proud of myself on what I had done. I think the last time I was kind of like addicted to what I'm feeling right now. Like the, the just the, the sweating and, and the feeling that you get after the workout. Like how you're, you're broken down. Not broken down. You're, you're beaten down. But you're you're on a, this like high that is almost comparable to like other things but not really um so I was I, I was like addicted to that feeling and I I feel like I'm getting that again and that's exciting but anyway so there's this thing that's coming up really soon and uh have you ever had something that is just so exciting but at the same time it's kind of scary and it, it's it's not the thing that you're doing that scares you. It's it's the things that are gonna, not gonna. It's just, it's the things that could happen during that time that you're worried about. Like, so like you have to have so many things in order in order for you to be able to 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 free yourself to do certain things. So, like, that's kind of why I hadn't posted all we... It's been, you know, almost two weeks or whatever. Um, it's because it's I'm kind of trying to take those step backs and trying to make sure everything is ready as, as ready as possible because in my world, in my life, um, you can do all the preparation in the fucking world and most things blow up in your face. Uh, but that has made me really good at doing things on the fly and pulling things out of nothing and making things work. And I'm actually really proud of myself for being able to do those kinds of things because, I mean, anybody can have a game plan and make things happen list by list by list by list by list by list in order on that game plan. Not everybody can watch your fucking game plan light up in flames and still make things happen. So, because of the crazy, hectic life that I have lived, I have that advantage. And with that advantage comes a lot of the things that I've, I've been able to do. But I'm trying to learn how to make a game plan and not set the bitch on fire. <laughs> like, that's, that's what we're doing now. So, you're probably actually going to get two videos today because I still want to do my watch-along. Mostly because it's Acid Jazz and Marche Rocket, I'm pretty sure, is the ne next match. And I'm really excited to watch that. Um, but yeah, uh, we got a lot of things coming up here in the next couple weeks, couple months. And then hopefully beyond, we're going to get back into a consistency of our old life. And if not, the one that we're building now is becoming just as fun. And I'm happy about that. But most importantly, I'm trying to focus on me. And I'm trying not to lose that focus. And I'm trying not to talk about it as much because of the worry of speaking things out of existence. Now, like I said, I, I understand that it is possible to talk things into reality. And there for a while, I thought I could actually do it. Um... Like, with the super positivity, and, and, like, none of that was fake, and I thought, you know, but, uh, 
when 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 things start to go downhill, it's real easy to fall into your old ways, your old habits. It's real easy to become who you were, and that's what happened to me. And I'm trying to, instead of being who I was for 28 fucking years, I'm trying to be who I was for like four. Yeah, that's about the time. No, no, that's not the time frame. No, it's more like 26 years, 27 years, and like three years. (laughs) So so there's there is a time frame where I had completely turned everything around and I'm trying to learn how to be that person again. And it, it it's not like I have to learn to be that person because all the steps that I had taken to change who I was to become that person kind of just happened. Like Like, I didn't have to force any of that. I just had to change the mindset of who I was and what I thought I had to be. And then with that, I became the person that I truly feel like I am. But it's real easy for me to find a way to fall into a headspace to where I'm not that successful, positive, happy, go-lucky person. I'm the pretend, crazy, still happy, somehow, person. I don't understand. But, like, because, like, I mean, for the first 26 years of my life, I might have been overweight, fairly lazy, and and, and not as goal-oriented, because I was driven, the things that I would fall into, I would want to be the best at. I just didn't really care what that was. And I had things going on. But I knew the person that I thought I was supposed to be from growing up and seeing all the people around me and what they were and how they formed themselves. And I thought that where I'm from, what I am, that's what I needed, not needed, that's what I would be. And then when I found myself a little better, I realized that there's other stuff that you can be if you want to be. Just because everything around you has been one thing doesn't mean that you have to be that. Just because everybody's an A doesn't mean you can't be a fucking B. I hate bees. I don't want to use that fucking analogy. Well, I don't hate bees. I hate wasps. Bees make flowers. They're cool. Um, I don't even know if any of this meant anything. I know I did a lot of rambling. I know it means something to me. And I hope everybody gets something out of it. And not just a headache from being confused. But, hey... If you get confused, that's fun, too. Because sometimes... Sometimes your brain ain't supposed to work. Fuck it. Right? Right. Anyway. (coughs) Oh, there's another thing I wanted to do. I wanted to go live uh, and kind of just hang out for, like, an extended period of time. Maybe I'll watch something. uh, Like, with YouTube, I can't really play those things. I'll get in trouble. But I can play them on another screen and watch them and you guys can kind of like watch them with me and we can hang out. Uh, I want to do that on Twitch as well. Uh, Watch a lot of wrestling and just like watch Twitch and uh, maybe we can all hang out. So hit me up there, Insanity underscore project at Twitch. Obviously right here, Insanity Project. We got a lot of things coming up. We got a lot of things to look forward to. I'm going to try and stay in as touch as possible. I'm going to keep doing the watch-alongs. The Let's Talks might have to take a little step back just because of where I'm trying to take myself and the whole existence thing. Not me existing. Don't don't take that out of context. I don't know how crazy y'all can get. Well, not 
the art because nobody watches these. But anyway, that's a whole thing for another time. I hope y'all had fun. Thank y'all for stopping in. Give it a share. Say hello. Don't forget to smile. Oh, shit. I forgot I was supposed to do it with the other hand. So then I click buttons with this hand. And then you guys won't even know I'm doing things. So don't forget to smile.